hold him. I reach out to God trying to talk on the daily. I know I can't hear him, but still trying to call him. I need a break. I feel like I'm stressing. 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 This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. Done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new line hits up. champion Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit. But now the UK has a heavyweight champion. And he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. His striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side. How are they going to keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the feet? All right, all the hype gives way to the action here. Both fighters have now touched down on the canvas, and we are ready to go from the Mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a busy ghost. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Alexander Drago Volta. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here's the perennial heavyweight contender, Alexander Volkov, back for more at the beginning of this round. This man has some tremendous weapons on the feet, has a real good feel for when to mix in the knees. Those front kicks, keeps right up the middle. Going to see if he can get his all-around striking game going well in this one. Huge block there. Nice right hand by the champ, you know? That was a beautiful head kick. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, how good is that elbow? Shades of my man Kenny Florian landing that thing in tight, and we'll see if he goes back to the well with it later in the fight. When you're chest to chest, you gotta be a bit creative, and throwing elbows like that one will allow for you to get in the lead in the fight. Fast pace here in the early going. Strike blocked by Aspinall. Oh, huge knee! Get 
Brings in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Pretty good straight punch there by Volkov. Takedown defense holds up. And now some separation. Whiffs on the elbow. Volkov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Wow! Oh, massive kick! Didn't see that one coming. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that'll do it! Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.